The simplest way I can explain Labster is that it's like a flight simulator for training pilots, only we are training chemists in a fully immersive virtual laboratory simulator. A simulation is like, it's like a small computer game where you have a clearly defined learning objective. So what we often hear from professors and students is that there are many chemistry topics and concepts that are very difficult to learn in the physical classroom. For the theoretical part of chemistry, there's also a lot of spatial understanding that a lot of students struggle a lot with. For example, in organic chemistry, the core of the teaching there is learning to understand how organic molecules react with each other. I have struggled with it as a student, trying with my hands to <laughs> make a 3D molecule. And with the virtual labs, we can engage and immerse the students in whole new ways uh, by allowing them to explore these difficult concepts using virtual animations, simulations and real-life case stories. Look at our beautiful small town. It's one of the highest towns on Earth. However, all is not well. In this hostile environment, the Labster rover is on a mission to determine if this planet is, or was, suitable for life. Atoms and molecules are immensely small, so we can never see with our own eyes what is actually happening. But in a virtual simulation, you can be inside the reaction, and the molecules can be this big, and you can take the electrons and grab them over and make a reaction happen uh, right in front of your eyes. So one of the interesting challenges in the physical lab is that you need to ensure the students follow a safety protocol because you don't want to have accidents happening in the real physical lab. The students are supposed to show up prepared for a laboratory experiment, but in reality very rarely that is the case. But when you can do it in a virtual lab, there's no time limit. The fact that you can try out an experimental procedure uh, in a simulation at your own pace while you get the instructions um, as you go along um, so that you actually understand the experiment that you're doing before you then do it in a real lab. I think that can be extremely beneficial. We can actually allow the students to not only follow that safety protocol and ensure they do it right, but also give them the room to experiment and explore through failure in a safe environment. You can go back and repeat if you didn't understand it until you actually grasp the concept of what you're doing.